uh, Joey's talking to the owner who dropped this vehicle off and asked us to take a look at it. Sweet, sweet. Awesome. Okay, I'll have to get the talking to that. They'll give you the price. It should be eight nineteen, but it just let everything confirm everything with you. And I think it's a potential we'll rust erosion. You know, do with us have the option of dropping the vehicle off. We can put the vehicle up and look at it together, or we can give you our opinion after we've had time to assess it. You know, this, this is an ideal candidate for a restoration. So we have two out back currently having the service. This, this is a, a drop off. So Joey, what's he gonna do here? Uh, restoration. Restoration, okay, yep, yeah, perfect. So, it just by happen chance, this came in. And uh, so you have a variety of vehicles and you can see different stages of rust. Uh, I don't know what year this is, I'll find out. But this one's, uh, it's kind of in the middle of the two out back. There's a 2018, which is in great shape. 2013, which actually, for its age, is in relatively good shape. And this is, uh, I'll find out, but this is kind of in the middle, in terms of corrosion. So uh, if you watch our videos, we'll go over how this is done. There's two hours of descaling, uh, brush, descale, uh, then we hit it with our own proprietary acid, and uh, it sits overnight, and then we hit it with uh, mouse out in the body cavities, and uh, black on the exterior. What year is this, Joey? 12. 12, wow, this is not bad shape either for a 12. Yeah, really not bad. Okay, yep. Yeah. And by half a chance, we, we're now doing an experiment to show the difference between a conventional rust converter and uh, our rust converter. When this is done, it'll show that this will not penetrate the conventional converter because there's polymers in it that seal the surface, whereas this is porous. Okay, that's, that's porous. Um, it allows our oil to penetrate and go down to your base metal, remove oxygen and moisture, and kind of do what oil does, which I, I, I call magic. So this is our restoration service developed by us um, and our products are all developed by us so we're not we don't just you know manufacture a product and sell it we're not hawking a product we're hawking a solution and it's the only product in the market that is developed by the people who use the product and uh, we will be in the process of documenting pe people that have been coming into our shop since since we started in 2012. And we'll we'll tell you that this is a lab. Basically, you know, rust is like cancer, and uh, we are uh, a treatment uh, R&D treatment center. So we do a lot of we, we develop a lot of products because the fact that we have close to 3,000 vehicles coming through here every day. And uh, when you, when this product is sent out to our franchises and dealers, it's turnkey. That's pretty rusty. We're close to the problem, and uh, you benefit from that. The dealers and franchises benefit from that. It's very user friendly. So you can stay tuned. We'll have the restoration videos coming out soon. But I just happened to walk in here and I noticed this being here, Joey talking to the customer. Thought it was interesting. Another day in the shop. Okay, up next is a uh, hybrid. This is a, uh, these are the notorious GMC wax, problematic factory coatings. Um, this just happened to be here, so I'm gonna catch a little. I'll, I'm not gonna show the whole thing. I'll, I'll, I'll likely show you 
any rust that is pre-existing uh, we will uh, we'll try to catch it maybe uh, finishing up tomorrow but you want to use uh, you want to use hybrid on these GMC's uh, they uh, <laughs> temperamental um, we did take a sample of the 2023 and the 2024 factory wax and uh, we made this product compatible with it uh, they don't confer with us so they could change the foamer at any time and the benefit of us using the product is we know if there's any adverse reactions we'll see it real time because we don't uh, we don't huck a product we develop the product and use the product so this one will go in uh, receive the lifetime warranty nationwide lifetime warranty um, hybrid military grade now military grade you know I if it's good enough for the military it's good enough for me okay um, I'll get into that in some of the other videos you can look them up on what is a military spec product um, but it is uh, it takes into consideration not only performance but environmental impact okay this is probably I'd say about 60% of our work right here is Chevy GMC so we had to come up with a uh, product that is compatible it's 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 been a problem this one doesn't look like it's in bad shape but I'll get some more video of this up in the air we'll see if there's any pre-existing rust I'll bet you I find some and uh, We'll see if we can get a little bit of spraying, prepping, and the finished product. Another day in the shop. Okay, so I'm just going to toggle back and forth here just to give you an idea of what goes on in our shop on a typical day. This is, uh, I think, a four or five year old vehicle. Um, you can see. Uh, he still has plenty of product left and uh, very little rust um, although four or five years hmm, it wouldn't look bad anyways but in New England it could be substantially worse than this you know it's a little greasy grimy but here you go structurally sound and shiny black metal come back in uh, annual treatments and um, this is what you would you can expect this for the life of your vehicle not bad for the money we spend I mean what's 250 bucks a year the rate of return is easily realized I really can't overemphasize the uh, real-time feedback. The fact that we do thousands of these vehicles every year allows us to focus on constant improvement rather than just evaluation. And you know, we're also affected by the corrosion. In fact, that's how we started the business. I was tired of losing my vehicles to uh, salt. Uh, so I think that's very important to, to be hands-on. The owner of this vehicle came in and opted to have uh, one hour's worth of descaling prior to the oil undercoating maintenance program. I think a good investment. Okay, so here we have one of the restorations that was in uh, yesterday morning or this morning. I lose track. Um, this is a complete job. You can see they use a back in black uh, on the exterior and uh, mouse out. Uh, in all the internal cavities. Mouse out was developed uh, to combat rodents. Um, first and foremost, it is an oil-based rust-proofing product. Um, we also had this independent lab tested to be 92% effective. And uh, in the industry, 70 is kind of the benchmark. 92 is it's off the charts. Um, this is the finished product. Okay, up next is the um, GMC we saw. 
uh, earlier that's uh, complete now. This is the uh, NHOU Boss Wax Hybrid Military Spec product. So here's the hybrid that we started yesterday, just put up in the lift so the customer can inspect it before he drives away. Is that a military spec NHOU hybrid boss wax? 